Now is a perfect time to take a look at some of the fashion trends that we can expect to see this year. So if you'd like to see which trends I think are the most wearable, then just keep watching. Some fashion trends are much easier to wear than others and so in today's video I'm sharing my favourite wearable fashion trends for 2019. Now the first trend that you can expect to see everywhere this year is the dad sneaker or chunky trainers. Now I'm probably the last person to adopt this trend and it wasn't a look that I really warm to very easily but I actually think it's very cool, very wearable and also very flattering. Now the key to I think pulling off this trend is pairing your chunky dad style sneakers with something that's feminine so it's that juxtaposition of the sne sneaker being quite grunty and masculine paired with something that's really floaty and feminine like a beautiful skirt or a lovely long dress. This in my mind is the most flattering way to wear this trend. Next up you can expect to see lots and lots of wrap dresses. Now wrap dresses aren't anything new, we've loved them and worn them for years and years but in 2019 they will be everywhere. Now the great thing about a wrap dress is that it skims your body and highlights your curves and it fits you perfectly. Wrap dresses are also great for lifting your bust, defining your waist and giving you that perfect hourglass shape. So in essence they are figure flattering and they work for everyone. Now if you'd like to give your wrap dress a little modern edge, try teaming it with a t-shirt worn underneath or even with some wide leg pants underneath or jeans. This just means that you have a dress in your closet that's more versatile and can be worn trans seasonally as well. So I'm all about getting more wear out of the items that I buy. So a wrap dress is extremely versatile. The other trend that will be everywhere this year is tortoiseshell jewellery and there's everything from earrings to bangles, cuffs and I think that tortoiseshell just is modern, it's elegant and just kind of adds a chic vibe to whatever you're wearing. And tortoiseshell is also timeless too so despite the fact that there's a lot of it around at the moment it is a piece of jewellery that you'll be able to wear for many years to come which again is really key for me when it comes to investing in any fashion. Okay, you can expect to see lots and lots of vibrant colors around this year but the most flattering of all is the neutral muted palette that is also going to be really popular in 2019. So expect to see lots of beiges, nudes and just a really muted palette. Now the great thing about this palette is that it does work for everyone, it teams well with white and black which most of us have in our wardrobes already and it's just a very forgiving color palette for most people. The trick with wearing such a muted color palette is to mix up your textures so if you are going to wear a beige tonal earthy sort of palette top to toe try and just add some different textures in there to mix things up a little bit and also you can't beat a pop of bright red lipstick with this color palette just to add a little bit of a wow factor. There's also a huge trend for ruching detail on pieces this year and carefully positioned ruching has mighty figure enhancing potential so it's super flattering to wear. It has the ability to add curves to slimmer figures but it also creates stretch and forgiveness for curvier girls and it forgives you in all the right places. So. Pieces with ruching detail are very forgiving and definitely worth incorporating into your wardrobe this year. <music> the 
This year is also all about the cold shoulder, so expect to see lots of shirts and sweaters and tops with just one single sleeve and the other shoulder exposed. And this is also really flattering because you're showing off a little bit of skin, but not too much. I'll pop up a few examples here so you can see what I mean, but it's a bit of a modern take on what we've seen in previous years. Fanny packs or bum bags, whatever you like to call them, are also here to stay. Now I particularly love them because obviously they're very versatile, they're practical, but they also have the ability to give a dress or an outfit a little bit of shape. If you wear them around your waist or slung low on your hips, they do work to, yeah, just create a little bit of a more feminine silhouette. Also you can wear them slung across your body, for again another practical accessory but also just to add some interest and to give an outfit some shape. So if you haven't jumped on the bum bag or fanny pack wagon, now is the time to do it. They are here and here to stay. The trend for sustainable fashion is continuing to grow at a rate of knots, which I think is a fantastic thing. So expect to see more and more sustainable fashion labels popping up and ethically produced clothing. So I think I couldn't create a video like this without including the fact that we can expect to see more and more sustainable fashion labels and have more sustainable eco-friendly options available to us this year. Now if the beige muted neutral color palette isn't really your style and you can't see yourself going crazy for all the vibrant neon colors that are out there, then another option for you is the muted earthy terracotta red colors, which you can expect to see everywhere as well. Now these just add a little bit more something to your outfit. They're also really flattering and they're just not as crazy as some of the vibrant colors that you can expect to see this season. So keep an eye out for those warm, rusty reds and muted terracotta tones that just warm up your complexion and are also really flattering. And they're kind of a nice middle ground if you're looking for a new color palette to enjoy this year. Anyway, that's it for today. Thanks so much for watching and I'd love to hear from you guys. Are there any fashion trends that you will most definitely be wearing this year? Please tell me, it'd be cool to have a chat in the comments below. If you enjoyed this video, I'd love you to give it a thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel for more and I look forward to catching you in the next one. Bye for now.